Why was Randolph Ross banned? Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Everything Track. And I gotta talk about this. This is some sad news. But some of us probably saw it coming, especially what happened uh, earlier this year. But uh, Randolph Ross just got banned, so I got something for you, alright? So, uh, Sprinter Randolph Ross for the USA has been banned for three years for whereabout failures and faking an email to anti-doping authorities. Hmm. Okay, okay. The Athletics Integrity Unit announced Tuesday that the back-to-back -back NCAA champion from North Carolina A&T will be suspended until June 30th, 2025. That's three years, so Randolph Ross is 21, but still, like, to wait till you're, what, 24, basically? That's a long time, man, which means he won't be able to go to the Paris Olympics in 2024. Could he get it uplifted? We don't know, but Ross has been provisionally suspended on the eve of of his uh, 400 meter preliminary race at the World Track and Field Championships, which happened back in Eugene earlier this year. Uh, his day that he was supposed to run was uh, July 16th. Uh, About a month after officials could not locate him to take a doping test, his third whereabouts failure in the 12 month period. So, was he taking drugs? You know, was he smoking weed? We don't know, but he wasn't there. We know that much. And basically, Ross has provided a copy of an automatic email, quote unquote, allegedly confirming an update made to his whereabouts information for the relevant period, quote end quote, that AIU said. And uh, the sprinter immediately admitted that he had altered the email when he had, was questioned by the AIU representatives unit Senate. And Ross uh, won his second straight title in the 400 meters in the NCAA championships in June. Just to let y'all know that he is fast. You know, this is somebody who did some damage in the track and field, especially in the college uh, track and field the past two, three years. Um, Ross has also won Olympic gold medals in a 4x4 back in Tokyo in 2021, but he didn't compete in the finals. Uh, in the 400, he was eliminated in the heats in the Tokyo. But, yeah, that's crazy. What do y'all think about that? Y'all think he should have been suspended? I mean, he has to get some type of... Uh, Something has to happen to him, you know. He has to have some type of punishment for not showing up. You know, it's part of the job to show up, but that's all I'm going to say on that. But that's all I got for y'all. If y'all like the video, 